Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to verify my identity on Binance. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. Now in this case, you might be wondering, how do you verify your identity on Binance? Well, it's actually pretty easy, but make sure that you have the necessary documents with you before you start. Like for example, any proof of IDs that you have, like a passport or a driver's license. In this case, let's go open up Binance here. Now, in Binance, there are actually multiple ways to access the My Verify Identity section. Now, typically, at the bottom right of your screen, you should be able to see a section that actually says Verify My Identity, as you can see on my screen right now. So if you click on it, that would actually redirect you into the verification page for Binance. But if unfortunately you can't see or you don't have that option or if, or if you don't have that pop up at the bottom right, well, there's still another way for you to access that. So go to home at the bottom left here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to click on the Biden's icon at the top left of your screen. And typically in the main menu, you should be able to see the section that says action required. So typically by clicking it, you should be able to see the verification page. Again, in some cases, you won't be able to see it. So in this case, go ahead and click on your name at the very top here. And from here, you should be able to see a section that says verification. So in this case, go ahead and click on verification. Now what we need to do now here is we need to basically start the verification process. Now in the verification process, they will request you to fill out all the entire information about yourself. That includes your legal name, your birthday, your address, and a lot more. So let's go ahead and choose start from beginning. Let's go ahead and click on start. Now from here, it should give you the option to start filling out all the entire information. So for example, let's go ahead and select our region. So as an example, I'm going to uh, maybe select uh, Philippines here. So let's use the search fun functionality here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, it should go in, it should ask you for your legal name, your middle name, and your last name here. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter our name. And uh, from here, we should be able to start and continue to the next page. Now what is your nationality here? Let's go ahead and answer that correctly. Click on continue and your date of birth. So as, as an example, maybe I'm going to put this as my date of birth and hit on continue. So you also you need to enter your address. So in this case, you could just put anything in here. So in this case, let's go ahead and enter it and just click on continue. Now in this case, uh, it's going to ask you all the information. So let's go ahead and fill out all this information. Now here on the next page, it's now going to ask you to provide your ID. So that includes any ID cards that you have like UMID, Philippine National ID, also accept for voters ID, SSID, and a lot more. So in this case, just choose the appropriate one here. Like if you want to choose a driver's license, go ahead and choose that. And from here, hit on continue and you need to take a photo of your driver's license. Now, once you provide a driver's license, they might ask you to uh, basically do a live video of yourself, just rotating the phone around your face, just to make sure that you're actually the one uh, verifying this account here. Now in this case, once you've submitted the verification process or once you've completed the verification process, they will actually process this so you might uh, need to wait for around uh, one day or two days depending on the process speed on your area. But in this case, you just need for wait you need to wait for them and once it's actually completed, you should now have a verified account in Binance. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.